Hello crafty friends, this is Amy. Let's get started. I am using um, my Cricut and I'm t t cutting out some words with a heat transfer vinyl. And I actually cut out six of these and you'll see it, what I've got in store. So it's this sweater weather, it's so cute. And I'm just putting that down on some fabric and then I'm gonna use my Cricut heat iron and I just applied that and you know it takes the guesswork out of how to do it you just lay it on there you press the timer and it beeps when it's done and it looks like it's at 15 seconds I got that as a gift from my kids what a nice gift huh so then I just peel off the outer cover of the uh, heat the transfer vinyl and then I'm going to make these into little pillows that you can hang on a door. And so here is my yarn I want to use as a hanger. You got to tuck that in there and then use your clips. And just start sewing it together and give yourself a little gap so you can stuff it with some uh, fiber fill. This really didn't take long. Sometimes I wonder why I don't do more sewing. Because when I do it, I do enjoy it. Okay, so we'll stuff that in there and then just get those seams together and sew those up so it's nice and uh, looks nice and even. And work it around, massage the fiber fill in there till it's where you want it. And there you go. I made four of those, so two of each, and then I had the last two, and I will show you in a video the next DIY what we're gonna do with those. But this was a lot of fun. I encourage you to get out your sewing machine and make some fun things because fabric, it really does make some beautiful, you can make some really pretty decor. This is a collaboration hosted by Heidi Sambal. Those participating can choose Halloween or fall decor and Heidi has a DIY channel. She is very creative and comes up with some of the cutest projects I've seen. Check out her channel and the other participants in this challenge by clicking on the links in the playlist. I want to thank you, Heidi, for hosting this fun challenge. DIY number two. Okay, this is just our headboard. My husband built this. And then um, this is the final product, which um, just to show you what the wood looked like, this is the scraps that he brought me when I, you know, we were trying to monkey around and figure out how we wanted to do this headboard. And so I'm adding on top of what he did is just some chalk paint. But what he did is he's had a dark stain. So you choose like a dark uh, walnut, something like that. You allow it to dry. And then he had some kind of a product. It was a gray wash. And I will list those in the description box if you're interested. And then I just, like I said, put the, I did a dry brush of the chalk paint on the top. And here I am using one of the stencils that I am offering in my Etsy shop and just pouncing on some of the the chalk paint again with a makeup sponge that's to me that's the best way to to put that stuff in or you know through a stencil and then again I'm using those cutouts of the heat transfer vinyl and I actually just heated it on there just to see if it would work on wood it worked fine it came off just great just like a regular vinyl wood so just so you know it works on wood too Okay, just going to cut out some pieces of buffalo check. Um, this is just your one-sided scrapbook paper at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just trying to line things up so I can get them all to match. And I'm trying a new technique here. You apply Mod Podge. You allow it to dry. Put your paper down. And then you apply heat. And that's it. 
I wanted to see how well it would work and it worked great. You don't have to put any more mud, po mud podge on the top, just the heat and boy it stuck really well. So I love this technique. If you want to check out a different technique, my last video I used saran wrap as the glue and I put down um, a napkin that you'd taken the pl plies, the it was three ply and you bring it down to one and you again apply heat and that saran wrap is kind of like a glue to that. So I will put that link in here too, but these turned out great. And then just, you know, take your sander and take some of the edges off. Um, that's a great way to get those little edges off if things aren't quite lining up. And it kind of roughs it up a little bit so it's more farmhouse looking. And then I just put the Mod Podge just on, just on the top just to make sure everything stayed on there, but I do believe it would have stayed on there just fine. Well, they turned out really cute just using some scrap pieces and a little imagination and just experimenting just to see, you know, if you could do this and it works. And showing you a new technique with the Mod Podge and the heat, it's a great one. DIY number three. This is a cute jar, um, pumpkin jar glass, obviously, from Dollar General, and I'm just cleaning it with the alcohol to get all the grease off and make sure it's ready for painting. And I painted it three coats with the Waverly Pool color. It really only needed two, but the third coat was just like little touch-ups, let it dry in between coats. This blue color is in this year. Even dark is in. And so I've got some ideas in store for more videos coming up. I dry brushed some silver linen, which is just a light gray Waverly and just to give it a little dimension. And I also did dry brush the silver lining right on the top and allowed that to dry, which it dries really fast. Now I'm just taking some extra fabric scraps that I had. And in fact, this was the last DIY too. I used this on a pumpkin that I wrapped. And so this is just a gray buffalo check pattern just to give it a little bow and putting in uh, some floral foam and I just thought the blue and the yellow would look great. And I did, I love how this turned out. Just popping in some flowers with some yellow and white, and then a little bit of that boxwood that you can find in uh, Walmart. And then these little tags you can get at Dollar Tree. Just add a little something to your decor. And you know, if a person wanted to put uh, more, a little more in there, you could, or just leave it as is. I just love how it turned out. That matte finish of the pool color, I, I think it's just a perfect color and it goes well with the yellow and I really love how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I love doing crafting, so I've got lots more ideas. Please consider subscribing. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.